Alright guys, this is going to be a remake of my snow effect tutorial. I'm doing this because one of the, the viewers asked me to and because the first one was uh, really bad quality so I figured why not. And uh, a little disclaimer here, um, this code is not really my own. I found it online and then I just simplified it to make it easier to understand. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can find the more complex version. I'm also going to put links where you can uh, learn some basic things about C++ and Allegro which will allow you to understand this code better. So the first thing I have is a variable that I have it as a integer and as a constant because I don't want it to change when the program is running. It's called total flakes and it's the total amount of particles I'm going to draw on the screen. Then I have a variable called layer, which is going to hold the layer of each particle. Depending on the layer, the particle is going to have a different color and a different velocity. Then I have two arrays, flex x and flex y. Flex x is going to hold the x position of each particle, and flex y is going to hold the y position of each particle. Flex layer is going to hold the layer of each particle, and color is just going to hold the color of each particle. Then I have a function called um, initialize particle flakes. This function is just going to initialize the x and y position of each particle and is going to assign them a layer. Now this is how um, I'm assigning the x position and y uh, position. So I'm just going to use the random function to pick a number between 0 and 639 for the x position and then for the y position I'm going to pick a number between 0 and 479. These are the values for the size of the screen. The screen is going to be 600 by 480 so this is why I have these numbers. And don't worry too much about this syntax, this is just, just write this into the code and this should work. This is um, how you call the random function. Then here I'm picking the layer for each snowflake and it's going to pick a random number between 0 and 2. Then I have a function called draw particle flakes which is going to draw the particles. I'm going to draw them as circles and I'm giving them a radius of 1 and then for the color I have a variable I have the variable color which is going to hold their which is going to hold their color depending on which layer they are so this is where I'm assigning the value for the color so if if the particle is has layer 0 then this is the color it should have if it has if it's in layer 1 this is the color it should have and if it's in layer 2 this is the color it should have and that's pretty much it for um, this function. I also have a function called update particle flakes. The purpose of this function is to take the um, particles and then move them from top to bottom and then once they reach the bottom you want to move them back to the top. So I have a for loop that will run 700 times because remember total flex has a value of 700. This is where I'm taking the y position of the particles and then um, changing it to make them move down. So what I'm doing here is depending on the layer the particle is in, it's going to move at a different speed. So what this is saying essentially is um, the y position of the flake equals the y position of the flake plus the layer the flake is in plus one. And the reason I have the plus one here is because if um, the layer is zero, if I didn't have the plus one, the particle would just not move. So this is why the plus one is here. And then now I have an if statement which is here to check if the particle hits the bottom. If it hits the bottom, I want to have it 
I want to have it um, give it a random exposition between 0 and 639 again and then I, I want to give it a Y position of 0 so at the very top of the screen and then I want to give it a new layer so if the particle is uh, not at the bottom this if statement gets skipped and then we go to here and the purpose of this is just to give it give the particle a motion from side to side which is going to make the effect more realistic um, you can play with this it's kinda hard for me to, uh, to explain this but um, just play with it and you'll see how it works just uh, if you change this number um, some weird things can happen so try it out and then you'll see and then uh, that's pretty much the gist of the program all of um, let's see all of these here are just basic things you would put in uh, virtually any Allegro program so just copy paste that into your own program and then um, this is where I am calling my initialize particle flakes so I just wanna give the flakes a random position on the screen right away and then this is my while loop which will um, keep the well this is what you would put pretty much if you running Allegro you're gonna have to put something like this on so just copy paste that and then here this is where I'm calling the update particle flakes which is going to make the particles move from top to bottom and then resting for 5 milliseconds then I clear the bitmap which will prevent um, the particles from smearing and then I'm telling it to draw and then I'm calling my draw particle flakes which is telling the program to draw everything to the buffer or up to the screen actually sorry and that's pretty much it um, if you have any more comments or questions just let me know and uh, I'll do my best um, to help you out and um, if you like this uh, feel free to share it um, subscribe if you like those types of videos and don't forget to like it if you like it so um, that's pretty much it